family and friends, I welcome each and every one of you and thank you for coming to witness the marriage of Amariah and Jared. As important as the ceremony is, we come together not to mark the start of your relationship, but to recognize and celebrate the bond of love that already exists between the two of you. Love is a friendship that has caught fire, a quiet understanding, a mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. Without love, we merely exist. With love, we truly begin to live. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. My dearest Amariah, in the time that we've been together, you have played many roles in my life. A best friend, a dance partner, a picnic companion, a fellow adventurer, a fiance, a confidant, and very soon, my wife. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. My dear Jared, becoming your wife feels like a dream. We share a bond that is so deep, and you are more than my best friend. Best friend does not describe you. You are my person. With you, I have learned what it is to love and to be loved deeply. I am so excited to stand by your side for the rest of our lives, and I love you forever. Love your future life. You look so beautiful. Okay. Uh -huh. You look so nice. You look amazing. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh, don't you just look marvelous? Marvelous. You look, you look beautiful, too. darling. God bless you. I love you. You're so, so special to me, darling. <laughs> so special. Today's a big day, huh? Yep. You look nice. Well, well, God bless you. I love you forever. Love you too. You're just beautiful. Where does time go? You know? Well, I love you forever, darling. God bless you. Love you too. So sad. Love you forever, baby. Yeah, I love you forever. I, Jared, take you, Amariah. I, Jared, take you, Amariah. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to honor. To love and to honor. And to cherish unconditionally. And to cherish unconditionally. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. I will be faithful to you. I will to you. And with this ring, and with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. Let it forever be a symbol. Let it forever be a symbol of our love. Of our love. So now, by the authority vested in me by the state of Oklahoma, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Jared Missouri. Oh, my sister is now married and I can't wrap my mind around it. I remember when Anne first mentioned Jared to me. It was so obvious she had a crush on him despite her denying it. Jared and Anne have a fairy tale romance from day one when they met in ballet class to their first date when he took her on a picnic to a park the Philharmonic concert, and to the day he proposed in front of a castle one early May morning. Before Jared, I didn't think anyone was good enough for my sister. So, to say that Jared deserves Amariah, it is the highest compliment that I can give. I could not have realized this of any man more worthy of her than him. Jared, you've married my best friend, and you should know that I've given you my trust to love and protect my sister, and I'm proud to call you my brother. And Anne, you should know that I've always looked up to you, your calm and steady spirit, 
Your wonderful positivity and your strength mixed with your ability to be your goofy self is addictive. Yours is a love story in which dreams are made, but they're not just in love. They're best friends who adore and respect each other, and they fit together like puzzle pieces. Mr. and Mrs. Missouri, I hope your love for each other be that of which poets and authors dream, and the story in which fairy tales are made. I want to say that Amariah, what can I say? You're a total blessing. Amariah, I love you, babe. I love you. We have prayed for a spouse to come into her life that's like you. I see the way you guys, I don't know, the way you guys look at each other, the way you guys love each other, hold each other, and I just wanna say, you're in our family. One thing that I admire about Jared is his relentless ambition along with his phenomenal work ethic. It's something that has propelled you throughout your entire life thus far and will continue to do so for the rest of your life. With that being said, I could not be more proud of the man that he has become due to his relationship with Anne Mariah. I have been fortunate enough to watch their relationship grow from the evening of their first date all the way to this, the day of their wedding. No matter how hard that they try, they just can't seem to get rid of me. <laughs> Emmeria pulls an amazing, compassionate, caring, loving side out of Jared that to be honest, I didn't even know existed. <laughs> so, I was surprised. <laughs> but in all honesty, I know that their relationship is something truly special. You two complement each other so remarkably well, and I'm ecstatic to see what the future holds for both of you. Cheers. You know, a father holds his daughter's hand for a short period, but he holds her heart forever forever. And I think Winnie the Pooh put it the best. I think we dream so we don't have to be apart for long. If we're in each other's dreams, we'll always be together. What I pray for and toast tonight is that you're always healthy, that you're always happy, and you're always prosperous. So God bless you both. <laughs>